dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and we are in the midst of it. It's 3 p.m. on Friday the 10th of May 2024. About three hours ago. <laughs> dudes, dudes. About three hours ago at 11.45 a.m. There was the first strike of a series of coronal mass ejections that are destined to hit Earth in the coming hours. At this moment, the KP index is 9, and we are experiencing a G4 severe geostorm. You can hear from the sound of the helicopter over there that it's likely there's been an accident on the freeway and that they're bringing in people who've been injured or possibly even killed on the freeway to the heliport in the nature preserve. In addition, I've showed you just a little of what's going on with the hawks and the ravens. They are apparently even more sensitive to geostorms than I am. I can't get you all the footage of what's going on in the raven and uh, hawk world. Don't hurt each other. Watch out. Calm yourself, it's okay, it's just a geostorm, but it's gonna go on for a long time, be careful. Now I'll tell you a little about, about the, this geostorm so far. Spaceweather.com online thinks that it may be a near Carrington event. You may know about the Carrington event that occurred in the mid 1800s and how it, it caused the telegraphs to shut down all over North American continent. And I will read you a little of what happens during the G4, which is not yet a G5, but maybe in the coming day, as five more CMEs are bound to impact Earth uh, during that time. As to power systems, there's possible voltage control problems with power systems and some protective systems in our power grids. Spacecraft operations, they might have surface charging and traffic problems and trouble with orientation. Pipeline currents might occur in other systems such as high frequency radio propagation, navigation on the oceans, and Auras are sometimes seen as, as far south as Alabama and, and Northern California. I've tried doing my famed geostorm vase test inside and I could hear it. It was a low hoo -hoo 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 sound. This is a geostorm vase test inside. I can hear it, but I don't know if you can. Out here, because of the because of the sound of the helicopter, I don't think it's valid, but I'll give you a chance to hear it anyway. I'm hearing. I think this has more to do with the helicopter than with the geostorm, but it could be there's a geostorm component. I'll try again. All day long, weird things have been happening with my computer. For instance, I had my, my 
world-class WordPress site up online. I was working with the administration end of it. And suddenly when I scrolled down the page, instead of scrolling down, it started changing the size of the font on the page and it kept on doing that. And it did some other really weird things. It wasn't WordPress, it was the, it was the approach of the geostorms. These things, these strange an anomalies occur in uh, electronic equipment all the time during geostorms. I, when I got back from doing my errands, I just took a brief nap and I was woken up by a phone call that suddenly, the ring suddenly stopped. And then there was a doorbell uh, sound at the front door. And by the time I looked out, the person that had apparently done that was way, way up the hill already. And so, there's some strange like signaling errors uh, with regard to electronic devices and telephones right now. I'm going to try to get online for this reason and that, but heaven only knows what's going to happen when I try that. So um, this, is, this is Alice just letting you know we're now at severe G4 geostorm level and it's only the first strike. Um, and the KP index is 9 for the first time in a very long time. So the light, the incoming light is falling down and offering us gifts. If we find, if we, if we approach the light in a positive frame of mind, it will bring us our gifts. But if we're only a little bit fearful, it can cause some, some turmoil in our electromagnetic field. Especially anxiety is damaging to the to the gifts of the incoming light. If that's true, then what will happen is they'll be there at the top or around our electromagnetic field available for us to call in and use later on when we feel a little more copacetic. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett and the Raven and Two Hawks wishing you safe voyage through the geostorm waves. Oh, come and visit my website at Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. See you there. The limitations of my experimental apparatus are significant. <laughs>